I write songs to calm those who've looked into and seen what is in their hearts. I also write songs to terrify those who have not. Like, I've read a lot of bios in my lifetime. Uh, but I just, there's no need to read any more of his bio except that one line, because that one has always grabbed me. Um, there's got to be a way to make money off of that. Just that one line. Well. What do you think, eh? That should be the full bio, actually. That's. That is the whole thing. Is it? Good. It's got to be, yeah. Any further blather is... Unnecessary. It's asking too much. It is. Uncivilized. (laughs) (laughs) John, uh, we were talking earlier about the last time you were here, and that was uh, 17 years ago, I think. I believe so. Thank you for having me back. It's an honor to be here, sir. (laughs) What has happened in your recording artist world in the last five years that I would be interested in? Well, uh, you, the last time I was here, I was just uh, releasing an album of Canadian small town murder ballads. I remember you remember that. that. I'm, it's got a, mostly out of my system now. The murder? Uh, yeah, that was a total mistake to do that album. It was really. Oh yeah, I mean, but in a, but in a but in a kind of a epic way. It's a, it's a failing that I, I kind of celebrate. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I still love the album myself. I'm very proud of it, but yeah. uh, I, I, I lost a lot of opportunities with that, I think. Why? People were like, ooh, we can't talk about murder? Yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah. I didn't want to hear about that. Bunch of deadbeats? Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, I, I just push a button, and that sound comes out of him. That's good. Ready, Tim? Uh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the um, what you you have this interesting combination of of uh, light and dark, and I'm always fascinated with the contrast and the dichotomy and the duality of lightness and darkness, light and dark. And you are a walking light and dark machine. You you're not so dark that you have lost your pursuit of light, but your journey towards the light is through the darkness. How do you feel about that? Um, I, uh, I'm on the wrong side of 45 now, so yeah. it, it would be really uncomely of me to uh, to find fault with, uh, with with that statement. Yeah. Um, disagreement. I'm just too old to do now, so I agree. Yeah. Um, I just thought I'd turn your voice up because you're yeah. saying smarter things. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, you know some. <laughs> One of my one of my biggest um, inspirations, um, the Russian writer uh, Alexander Solzhenitsyn. Uh, Bless you. He uh, he once wrote that the the line between good and evil is not a line we can draw between nations. It's not a line that we draw between uh, ideologies, creeds, political parties. And he said that the line between good and evil cannot even be drawn between individuals, but that the line between good and evil is drawn down the center of every human heart. And so that's reflected in all my tattoos and uh, I think all my songs. Yeah, it is. It is. When I walked the Camino a couple of years ago, it's been a couple of years. A couple of years ago? I thought it was more recently. 2016. Huh? A year and a half. Ah, We're rounding up, apparently. Um, I brought with me, because you're supposed to bring a rock to put at the foot of the cross on the highest point of the Camino, which represents you laying down something that you need to lay down. Yeah. I got a lot of stuff to lay down. But I brought this. I found this rock at the cottage, and it's half dark and half white. It looks like someone painted it, but right down the middle is a definitive line. And what did the rock represent for you? I'm not sharing that publicly. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Veteran move on the radio. But uh, yeah, it's taken me 15 years to learn not to share so much. Uh, right. But I threw the rock in the pile, hoping, uh, I just wanted to see if it, like, surreptitiously landed with the dark side down and the light, the light side on top. Okay. As I threw it on the pile and I went yeah. to walk towards it with the video camera as I was documenting things. And it was sideways. Oh. Perfect. It was, yeah, but that's that's the whole, that's my, that's been my journey. I want to suppress the darkness. What I'm finally realizing is that it is it is both and, not either or. Correct. I, I, at least I agree. I, I, I'm down with that, yeah. Have we just lost anybody who doesn't care about philosophy is it like is that are we it's bad radio now yeah it is um yeah let's get into good radio what's the yeah. darkest time of your life look uh, darkness is absolutely necessary and absolutely uh the most 
the most pregnant time of hope. You know, it, it, there's huh. a, you know, the, 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 this is not my line. This is this is this is as old as time. But the idea that uh, the light of hope shines brightest where it's needed most in darkness, right? Um, which makes it arguably the most hopeful time in in um, modern human history right now. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot to be hopeful for, and. Um, as a songwriter, I, I I have to be hopeful and optimistic. I find any anybody who who, who creates anything, um, who if they're not trying to, uh, you know, if their end game isn't to uplift people or to inspire people, and and if they really truly are cynical or pessimistic, I think they're fraudulent. So uh, you know, by nature, I'm hopeful. Um, I know the murder ballads on paper doesn't sound very hopeful, but it's it's full of uh, full of humor and. And all kinds of interesting things, and actually, it's more about Canadian small towns than it is anything else. It's just, yeah. uh, I like the rest of the Western world. I'm fascinated with murder stories. I wish other people would admit that fact, but a lot of people aren't Especially. comfortable admitting it. But no. you know, anybody who's not out at a live show, the chances are better than not that they're at home watching a murder show on Netflix. True story. True story. A scandal. Uh, how to get away with murder. All sorts of things. So, yeah. Peaky Blinders. Yep, Simpsons. It's fascinating. <laughs> Simpsons, yeah. Yeah, they're the best. <laughs> <laughs> He's an idiot. Can I get you? got you? a lot of people here, I have to say. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, is, are you that incompetent that you need six? <laughs> yes. Six people in here to help yes. you? Is it this bad? How it many is. years have you been doing this? Fifteen. Fifteen years and you yeah. got six people in here. I know. Imagine how See? much the, so the show sucked when it was just me. Uh, okay, do a song, man. No, do a song, do yeah. a song. Okay, yeah. Well, what are you doing? Well, let's do a song and then we'll talk about it later. How about that? Oh, that sounds good to me. Ladies and gentlemen. This is called Gun Dealer, by the way. Whoa. This is a bi I'm a big fan of this song in a huge way. Huge way. Live on the Drew Marshall Show, the one and only John Brooks. I got handguns, I got shotguns, I got a mohawk friend doing cross-border and back runs. You need a gat man, a newer used one. Tell me what you need and be my VIP. I got stair GBs, SSGs, I got a TKB all the way from the Aral Sea. AKs, MKs, the Anaconda's okay. Hard to conceal, but it'll take down a grizzly. I'm doing this forever, I'll do it tomorrow. Supply and demand in Sodom and Gomorrah, never mind I sis. This you can trust. We're shooting at each other twice as much as them at us, yeah. I am the is in the dark wood. I am the what and the lonely is. I'm a gun dealer, baby. I'm the is in the what and it is what it is. I'm the is in the what and it is what it is. I got Glock nines, carbine, Smith and Wesson, all kinds. SD forties coated in a black melanite. Thirty eights, whatever the cops carry. The Diamondback Steve McQueen had in '68. A Filipina Ruger like Secretary Perry. A mile away, it'll split a coyote. Got the short Colt Cobra and the Jack Ruby. The long range of Millen, ain't she a beauty? Beretta in Die Hard. Never mind the sequels. God made all man. Sam Colt made a meagle. Got the gun to one the West. A seven. Three. I'll take Jimmy Stewart any day over Clooney Whatever you are, a psychopath or a hunter I got what you need, no serial numbers I am the is in the dark what I am the what and the lonely is I'm a gun dealer, baby I'm the is and the what and it is what it is I'm the is and the what and it is what it is what it is I got one stand, two brands, three or four Remingtons, an L2A3 submachine. I got more firepower than the Israeli 
army got a gun for small prey, a gun for display. It doesn't have to shoot to make them do what you say. I got a gun for your wife, a cougar undercover light. I got a pink Taurus for the other lady in your life. Fit in a purse, a gangster verse. Show for all your jealousy away in a hearse. I got a Serb M93, a Civil War Henry. You keep the tax, I get the currency. Buy two, get one free box of ammo. Nice try, dude, but I'll throw in some camo. America wants me, the truth today. The pipe fitters give more juice than the NRA. I am the is and the dark what? I am the what and the lonely is. I'm a gun dealer, baby. I'm the is and the what and it is what it is. I'm the is and the what and it is what it is. I'm the is and the what and it is what it is what it is. John Brooks on the Drew Marshall Show. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. So let's get something out of the way. Yeah. You could be pretty good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Dude, there's so many stinking words. Like, if you counted, what's the word count in that thing? And how long does it take you to memorize that stuff? And how long did it take? What's the story behind the writing of it? Oh, yeah, story. Go. You know, part of your job as interns is to throw Drew a life jacket when he needs one. He could have <laughs> used one about 30 seconds ago there. So, what's the story behind that song? Uh, okay, um, uh, back in 2012, I was... Uh, uh, a song a song off of um, an album called Delicate Cages uh, was used in a compilation of songs um, that were, was put together for a suspicious reason a good reason, a heartfelt reason. Um, it was a, it was a, it was to to make awareness of the Sandy Hook tragedy hmm. in the states. Um, that I called it suspicious because I mean that's all anybody was ever talking about, and and I guess rightly so. And it just seemed odd that musicians were doing this. And I guess it was to raise money for maybe the um, the organization that were were trying to lobby uh, the government at the time to change gun laws. I'm not sure. But um, a song was called Mercy uh, was used in that compilation. And it got me thinking that that song, though, is, is, is one of my finer moments. It, it doesn't really have anything to do with the issue at hand. And I wanted to write a song that, uh, that, uh, that, that took on the gun problem in the States. Mm -hmm. um, not, by the way, America's first problem. America's first problem is slavery and racism. You, are, you play a lot down there. You play a lot in... in in the south yes you play a lot in in wonder breadville yeah um now to be fair i mean a lot of canadians think of the states or in, in particular places in the states like florida and texas or arkansas and they just think uh hoo -hoo, you know whatever <laughs> yep <laughs> you know what i mean uh, sure do <laughs> And those, those are my first words. And it's just it's just so it's just so inaccurate, unfair, not true. Right. Um this the, the the states is um is is right down the middle. But John, and, are you telling me when you play that song in some of the yeah. some of the uh -huh areas? Right. They don't go, dude, lighten up like do they not throw beer bottles at you like the Blues no, Brothers? No, they miss they miss some crucial lines in there. I mean I'm I'm purposely trying to keep my own voice out of that song. A couple times in Texas I've played that where after the gig I was um, invited uh, to go out into the desert and shoot AK-47s with them because they just assumed that I was a gun collector. Oh, because you sang a gun song. Right. And and so <clears throat> in Kansas, for example, southern Kansas, they, 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 they thank me for including such a wide array of oh, weaponry, uh, historic and, and technical. They really love the... They just love the hip-hop nature of it. it. It almost... And that's by design... Of course, in New England, they know what I'm saying, and the line that stands out to them is, you know, never mind ISIS, and this you can trust. It's we're shooting at each other twice as much as them at us. Yeah. Yep. Um, but anyway, um, where does <sighs> I know I can go here with you? I usually don't with with the artist because the music is about the music. But you have a really interesting, in my mind, God journey, faith journey, spiritual stuff, mm -hmm. right? What's leaking out of you these days when it comes to that? Hmm. Um, wow, I wasn't prepared for that one. That's all my new, that my entire new album is about all that stuff. Uh, there's no, Do you think there's, there's no a creator that spin it and split? Do you think there's an interactive creator? Do you think that 
there is just an energy do you like what where is your mind gone you're an explorer of these things is there is there a god um I don't know. I, I don't look at it that way. I'm 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 part Sufi, part uh, uh, Christian mystic, part uh, uh, part Jew, part Muslim, part uh, Anishinaabe. I mean, I I I think at the end of the day, a lot of the religions are really uh, uh, seeking the same thing. Um, you know, it's a funny it's a funny time right now. There's such an, we're we're in such anti-religious times. Like if I hear one more bland comment blaming religion for the death of millions, you know, you know, it's time we 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 accept the grow up and accept the fact that the secular world has done a fine job at at annihilating millions just as much. You know, all my reading suggests that it's all a lot of it is the same thing, and I'm not talking that this misunderstanding that fundamentalism belongs to one end of the world. That we need to jettison this uh, this ignorance. Um, in fact, if anything of the Abrahamic religions, uh, Islam discovered fundamentalism the l latest. I mean, before that, we had. I'm not. I'm not an expert on the field, but I. Th I would. I would hazard to say. I, I would guess that there was Jewish fundamentalism first, and shortly after, we've got all manner of Christian fundamentalism. Probably lots of them have been on your show too, and I don't know why we don't think about that before we start talking about this nonsense about east west but let's talk about let's talk about let's talk about why it's hopeful today and 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 why the gun issue is a hopeful we're in a hopeful crossroads today look what happened a couple weeks ago the the event and tragedy itself w was was undeniably horrifying of course right but i sent something different didn't you yes it, Finally, I, I felt like, as always, the adults failed us and they went to their Facebook feeds. But look what happened with the kids. They hit the streets. And that's why, sir, you have to leave the millennials alone, because not only are we outnumbered, oh, but they're they're di they're diverse. Yeah, they're open hearted, open minded. They're, they seem to me an enlightened bunch. And right now, that's the reason why they're still going to be United States of America in 20 years, I think. And so that gives me hope. Hmm. Um, it'll be an inch an hour forward. Okay, I'm boring myself here. So no, let's not. do let's do courage is the curve of the earth. Courage. Live on the Drew Marshall Show, our very good friend, Mr. John Brooks. It's the laughter of the heart That hears the crying of the times It's the fruit of the nipple It's the truth of the lies Just the marrow and the bones In the pit left to save us It's a thank you to the void On the road to Damascus It's an every good decision and it's an every bad one too I think it's somewhere in the walk Above the road beneath the shoe And I've seen it in the suburbs And by that I mean the city And by that I mean the scattered And by that I mean unity And courage is the curve 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 of the earth, of the earth, of the earth. And it's that dollar store toy between the single mom and boy. It doesn't always have a job, but it's never underemployed. It takes half your pay for rent. Leaves the dishes in the sink Stains the mattress on the floor It's only never where we think It's a two-story town Of suffering and beauty On a flat earth Darling, as I mean I will see it Just tell it to me straight And in the language of the age I've got no time for poetry In these end days If trust 
is the evidence of things unseen. If sight is the seed of a no mean city, then courage is the curve. Courage is the curve. Courage is the curve of the earth, of the earth, of the earth. It'll marry you and leave you with a baby on the way. It's honesty, it's love and God, it's murder on the same day. It's holier than water, it's the mother of the sun. Sadness when it's sober and it's fear when it's drunk. Only blindness sees it clearly, only darkness heeds its call. It's as impossible as faith, crueler than no faith at all. And courage is the curve, courage is the curve. Courage is the curve, courage is the curve, courage is the curve of the earth, of the earth, of the earth. John Brooks, yeah. John Brooks, John Brooks. Thank you. John Brooks. <laughs> you're, you're big in the folk scene. You won like four, 473 awards in the folk scene. That's accurate. Yeah. Uh, is the folk scene changing is it it seems like it's got more street cred these days well yeah um couple things uh in the in the 80s and 90s uh folk was uh relegated to the auxiliary garbage dump of the record store and it was not cool to um to use the word um it's it's not really that cool to use it now i i when i started out though i used it proudly and i wanted to i thought we could reinvent uh, you know, reinvigorate the word folk, you know, because right. my idea of folk was always a very subversive, socially conscientious music, a music that was meant to move people to, to good to, to, to good effect, you know, a, a music that made people <coughs> aware of themselves and, 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 and aware that we can um, be better. Uh, so I was using it proudly in the tradition of Woody Guthrie, and then in the tradition of the people that inspired me most, you know, the 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 the, the '60s revivalists, you know, Buffy St. Marie and, mm -hmm. and 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 the like. 9/11 um, happened, and the world goes to war. And typically, what happens when the world starts firing guns and dropping bombs is acoustic instruments start to get picked up. It's a, just a trend. Really? You follow it through, yeah, 20th century especially. You can <laughs> see it happening. And then another big moment was the Coen Brothers movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Brother, where art thou? Yep. I, I haven't actually seen it. I love you haven't the, seen it? No, because when <clears throat> when such a ma such a herd of people turn left, I like my to go right. Jerk instinct is yeah. to go right. Yeah, that's because and you I and I, the Coens. you and I are both autodidactic iconoclasts. Autodidactic, yes, yeah. I like that. I love all those syllables. It makes you sound smart. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, um, and I'm, and it's funny because not. A, I was talking to my wife recently. There hasn't been a day in 15 years that we didn't reference um, the dude, <laughs> the Big Lebowski. Yeah. You know, but that but that movie, Brother Where Art Thou, uh, was a huge movie, and it 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 affected um, popular music, and people again ran to the acoustic instruments and. Um. And yes, suddenly the banjo and the ukulele, mm -hmm. which is kind of sad. Um, I'm kind of tired of that instrument. One thing that I'm a little bit surprised at is that, uh, well, no, I shouldn't be surprised. That's a sign of a bad education. But <laughs> I, I think we're ready to move on with the sound of, of what we now know folk roots Americana. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I've been, I was uh, asked to be a juror on a, on a conference uh Competition, yeah, basically a, a competition to get to showcase. And uh, what I what I found after listening to about 180 entries was the the, the homogeneity, just the yeah. sameness, yeah. over and over and over again. Uh, stand up bass, fiddle, banjo, and and occasionally you'd come upon the the, the three girls with the short skirt and the cowboy boots yep. singing perfect harmonies. Yeah. And each, by the way, had. One had red hair, one blonde, one brunette, yes. and it yes. was, and, and it's. Yeah. It, I'm so, so it feels sometimes a little bit stuck in its um, sound right now. Um, what was the question? Yeah, if your legs bent the other way, what would a chair what? look like? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, what are we doing? 
Take oh, a, am take I a playing a song? Do you want to go out with a track or do you mm-hmm. want to play? It's your call. It's your, uh, totally your call. Let's let's. I'll do one. I'll do one. Okay. Quick here. All right. Here we go. It's called When We Go. No, we can't take that old letter from my first lover. No, we can't take anything onto that some great other. Every loan sock and every diamond, we can't prove it, cause everybody knows. If it's not love, we can't take it when we go. But we can take our ex-wives' laughs and our mother's worry lines. We can take off that which we gave to those of whom we had to help and of whom that taught us most. And if it's not love, we can't take it when we go. We can't take it when we go, when we go, wherever we go. If it's not love, we can't take it when we go. To that place where my heart no rust cannot touch us past this dust. If it's not love, we can't take it. We go, and all our prizes and impulse buys, they will be fast appraised. And into one bargain bin, they'll be casually thrown until what's favored and are forgotten will delicately be told. If you're not love, we can't take you when we go. We can't take it when we go, when we go, wherever we go. If it's not love, we can't take it when we go. To that place where my heart no rust not touch us past this dust if it's not love we can't take it when we go and that's when the horn it stung me and I had a feverish dream with revenge Tonight we smoke them out You are ahead by a century You are ahead by a century You are ahead by a century And disappoint is getting me down can stand me up at the gates of hell, but I stand my ground. Hey, baby, there ain't no easy way out. Hey, I stand my ground.
That might be my new favorite John Brooks song. That dude, that was, man, thank you.